everything like that. I'm bring my man Jay Dodge to the show and everything like that, man. I'm from everywhere out there, man. I grew up in born and raised in Selden. Okay. That's uh that's the dope capital, man. That's where a lot of the hustlers out here sell for the things out there. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah, a lot of my neighbors are strung out. Try to pick the hustle up real quick and juggle up. Yeah, I I live in Selden, man. Okay. Yeah, I'm from 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 Selden, man. Okay. I'm a Brooklyn nigga. When people say CI, I think that's Coney Island. Yeah, 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 no doubt. You know what I'm saying? So nah, that's that's, that's Central Ice. You never lived in Coney Island? That's Central Ice Pick right by the, uh, right by the courthouse. Okay. Now, I say it's going on now, dude. Yeah, what happened was I had to go to court so much when I was younger and shit that I just decided to move down the block from that bitch. You know what I mean? Yeah. I figured instead of having to drive out to court every month and every week and shit, I might as well just move right down the block from that bitch. Right, 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 right. That's <laughs> right. Like I said, I got my man Jay Dodge in the building doing a lot of big things and everything like that. Um, Unsigned Explosion Tour, man. Tell me about your experience with that, man. I was tour just walk around. Yo, man, this is my first tour, man. Unsigned Explosion was my first tour, and uh, I was doing a lot of shows, like, as far as, like, being prepared for, for the environment and, right. and the crowds and shit. I was definitely mentally prepared, and my material was on point, and, uh, but the tour was crazy. That was a whole new experience. Man. Yeah, man. Just I mean, getting on the bus with a bunch of rappers that, like, usually, like, I'm used to rapping. There wasn't no violence. Nah, nah, that's what I'm saying. There wasn't no violence. There was no love. Nah, nah, I'm used, to, I'm used to rappers being haters and shit. Like, yeah. the, the majority of my experience was like, rappers are like, whether they're, they're better than you or you're better than them, they still hating on you. That, that was my, my experience mostly with, with rappers. And on this tour, it was like, from Jump Street, it's like, I met cats like Nimrod, and me and Nimrod are still tight to this day, like, that's my peoples and shit. I met cats like Mike Mills, Boyd Rats, I mean, and these are just more funds, you know, more funds, you know what I mean? These are just bones and shit, like, yeah, yeah, not to yeah, mention yeah. my homie Lotto, yeah, Cal, yeah. Craig, I mean, yo, I made, a lot of, I made a lot of true friends off that tour and, and people that have done a lot for me since. And as far as the atmosphere, though, the atmosphere was crazy. Yeah. Being in another city, and like, it's like being out on Long Island. Like, well, that was and a, the crowds are totally different, dog. Like, on Long Island, it's like people are sitting there like, they're waiting for like a hundred thousand people to clap their hands before they'll even like lift their head. You know what I'm saying? And, and like out there, it's like Boston. Remember Boston? Though? Yeah, cause I'm gonna tell you something about Boston. Though. They was they was they bringing out. Like, yeah, underestimated. Cat was like, what cat? Like, yo, he smelled like Eminem. I heard a cat say, yo, he smelled like Eminem and shit like that. Right. I was very busy. Like, yeah, when I was young, that shit bothered me like crazy. That shit bothered you? That Eminem in comparison bothered me like crazy when I was younger. Until, until he went diamond five times. And I was like, you know, I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you. I'm insane. I'm mad at you. You want to compare me to Eminem, just give me his guap, give me his numbers, and I'll still make my music. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't sound like him. I don't make music like him. So. But I mean, and you'll take your spot on the Yankee Stadium this fall. Hey, hey. Yeah, that's gonna be real happy for the city. I'm saying, that's gonna be yeah, crazy. Yeah, and they're right. doing Detroit too, man. Yeah? They're doing both cities. They're doing M City and they're doing J City. Oh, so that's it's crazy. It's gonna be fire, man. It's gonna be crazy. Man. So, um, like I said, I see you smashing out on the stage and everything like that. Doing with that. And you got this, this new joint that you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I brought two joints out because uh, strong out hip hop, man. I, I got mad love for that side though. Um, the the one joint that I brought out is from the Gods and Trust. That's the new record I'm dropping in uh, in October. So we everywhere, iTunes everywhere. Everywhere, iTunes, Rhapsody, Amazon. My my homie that I, I seen that was on before that had it with you has the same retailers. Yeah. Amazon, Rhapsody, CD Baby, iTunes. You rap out there, you hear one too. That's all the places you can sell your music at. So Jay God just dropped a jewel. All the places you can sell your music at. You and get your thing out there to everybody because, man, what's about? But on some real shit though, like, 
no joke, um, the, the majority of where I push is not even iTunes and Amazon and all that, because I got the site that, that I just launched, jguards.com. You launched that? Yeah, and we're selling everything independently right on there. Right. And it's easier to access and shit. Like, it's just like if you could remember the kid's name, J Guards with a Z. Ah, you like that, right? Cross the moment. Like, ah, I'm selling without selling, you dig it? Um, <laughs> But you can remember the name, you can remember the site, and then the site is real simple. Uh, my shorty actually designed it. She's ridiculous. So Mishi Guards, you gotta check that out. For real, she, she can do everybody's artwork. She can do your website and crazy little man. Mishi Guards. Mishi Guards. Yeah, that's what I'm oh, talking about. Yeah, yeah, so this yeah. is Jay Guards thing. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah. What is it? Alright, Mishi Guards. Shout out to Mishi Guards. You gotta go holler at her. I mean, All right, cool. but on the site, you just go right to the store on the site, you cop that record. We got two albums for sale now. One called Rush Hour, that's an album I did in seven days. Seven days? I did that album in seven days, that's 21 tracks. And then I got Hard White, which is the infamous record that uh, we had the album this part. Yeah, I talked about it my first time on Strong Island Hip Hop. <laughs> and that White Knight mixtape, too, you can get that for free. We got, you see, like, the website is crazy, man. We got a bunch of free material, promotional use, and then we got a bunch of stuff to sell, too. So it's, it's a crazy site. So tell, um, tell us about opening up for Rakim and, and on Long Island. Oh, that was, that, was, that was a pretty crazy night, yeah, man. Rakim's a good dude, man. He's, good dude. he's cool, man. Uh, he definitely deserves a lot more respect and a lot more appreciation than he gets out here on Long yeah. Island. Definitely in the hip hop game. I mean, Rakim's an icon, man. Anybody that don't look at Rakim. Rock, like a fucking icon. Rakim was a motherfucking. Yo, if you rapping and don't look at Rakim like an icon. You need to go and fucking rewind and, and listen to it again. A lot of shit, man. Like, that would be for president. Yeah. I could be, oh, man. Let me go. We ain't get me started on Rob. <laughs> but, so he, yo, know, he's good people, though. That's, that's, the, that's the, the point that I'm trying to make. He's, he's good people, and opening up for him was definitely a pleasure, man. It was, you know what I mean? It was a good environment. He brought a lot of old school hip hop heads out. He brought a lot of the older cats out that haven't really heard new material and, and new music. That's and what they do they, now. They look, at, they look at new music like, you know, no disrespect, but like Soulja Boy and stuff like that, all dance type music. Like if you, you come out with a, with a dance with your hip hop song, that's the way some of these cats look at hip hop now.